The flooding on the Mississippi is sure to cost billions of dollars in damage and also lost business there. And diverting floodwaters away from New Orleans may not reduce the cost of this disaster by all that much. Let's look at the financial impact of the flooding with CBS News business and economics correspondent Rebecca Jarvis. Rebecca, good morning. Hey, Chris. Let's just talk about uh, this region and just how, I, just how important it is to the national economy. Yeah, it's very significant to the national economy and really for two reasons. First off, it's where a lot of our gasoline comes from. 13% of the nation's energy source is coming from this part of Louisiana. One in nine gallons of gasoline that we use in this country every day comes from this part of the country. In addition to that, though, there's a lot of ships that pass through, for example, the Port of New Orleans on a daily basis. From 12,000 ships on an annual basis go through here with 500 million tons of cargo. 700,000 cruise ships attendees go through that part of the country as well. So it is very significant not only to our gasoline, but also to other national industries. A lot of people when they think refineries they're thinking Texas down in an area but Louisiana lots of refineries. It's number two. It's number two in the country with refineries. And as far as the danger that's posed the risk that's there with those refineries. Well, it's a significant risk. However, it looks like at this point that some of that risk has been averted. There's about 10 refineries uh, that are right in the zone where the Morganza spillway um, is essentially there to avert the crisis. So basically, by opening up that Morganza spillway, the entire idea is to keep those safe. And you see them right there along the river. Those are the 10 that would be impacted in the event they say that they did not open up the Morganza spillway. So that's why the decision was made. Okay, so you've got all these folks that uh, are, are going to, to look at this as, okay, we're saving the refineries and some of the shipping is going to be okay, but folks in the river basin can't be overlooked because all that water is that's, being, that's being diverted. Uh, I mean, farmland and other homes in some of these smaller towns are now going to be under 20 feet of water for what they say could be weeks. That is the significant part of all of this that, that's the big concern because obviously we're looking at hundreds of millions of dollars worth of damage to farmland. We're hearing from corn farmers in the area who have have not been able to plant their seedlings. You could also see in this country as a result of all of this corn prices going higher. All right. CBS's Rebecca Jarvis. Rebecca, thank you.